Hey everybody, so you want to learn about Gundam Breaker? Well, Big Zam doesn't want us to, but that's okay, we'll talk about him in a little bit. This is generically what a room looks like in Gundam Breaker, and we're going to break that up, telling you what each kind of mission is. But first, we got some customization for you, I hope you enjoy. Alright, so customization, that was interesting. Now, what the mission you're looking at here is actually a normal mission. What they consist of is really just going from room point A to point B, moving from one room to the next to a different area, clearing it, and then once you clear it, you know, pretty simply, well, it's simple for me because I'm using high grade or higher leveled up suits compared to what you get at the point you play this. So it might seem a little simple. But at the end of the level, you fight a boss like so. This level ended up being Gundam, which you just saw him get obliterated. And you just take out what's remaining. And if you have a high enough ace point, which, that's just the points you get for killing things. The yellow stuff in the center. And then you have enemy aces pop up. Enemy aces will show up in every level. But, they tend to die in the early missions just like that. That's a normal mission. At the end, you, and here is defend missions. They range from defending like five things to one. And you literally do the same thing, but you don't have to move from area to area. You have waves that you have to defeat. And just showcasing, you know, you when you have four area or four or five things to defend you have to move across the map and then you defeat the boss at the end usually the bosses are in multiples and then again enemy aces show up and then you have to fight that which this one is a banshee and when you defeat or when you're fighting the banshee one thing to note is they are a little stronger and they tend not to flinch but again higher up suit this is an area grab Area grabs are pretty simple, really, easier if you have multiple people, and you fight everybody inside one area, defeat them as you see that bar going up, and then from there, you just have to take over the other fields and hold them. So it's like the fence where you defend a certain point, as well as attacking certain points. And then enemy aces show up, you fight them. And when they do show up in a field, you have to retake over an area. And that's the cool thing about this is... You can be stationary if you want to, or you have to do here. Run to a field, defeat the enemies, take it over. And then you have the two bars at the top that deplete as you hold ground and defeat people. And those bars are actually in other missions as well. But, sometimes they are not exactly for both sides and this is what we call awakening mode and then your burst special heavy arms is the most OP one in the game so far but some people like using other ones it's really up to you how you would like to and then finally we have a boss mode boss mode is simple you just go through defeating the parts on the feet or wherever they actually end up being and you have to damage it like so. And lastly we have a survival mode which you have the same bar, you have to fight the bosses and you go through the same thing as like a normal or, or, or any of the other missions and you just literally have to fight the bosses at the end to survive. 
There are a couple other missions, but we'll talk about those at a later date. Don't forget to like, favorite, share, and comment.